الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى أما بعد من أبو شيخ الشيخ أبو عبد الله عبد الرحمن الميسان الله يرزقه ويحفظه 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 الله طالب منشني نسيني that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and he guided us and he told us and informed us of that which rectifies our affairs and that which rectifies the affairs of our hearts and our actions and the matter of the hearts is something of utmost importance it is something that we all should pay attention to and the matter of some of the set up and my mercy on them one of them said that the hearts are like cooking are like cooking utensils, boiling pots, and the tongues are like utensils that take from those pots, serving utensils that take and serve from those pots. So if what is in the heart is upright and is good and sound, you will find on the tongue that which is good and sound and upright. And if what's in the hearts is evil, and it's filth you will find on the tongues, evil and filthy things. And the matter of the hearts is something that we all need to pay attention to. Softening the hearts is something that we all should aim to, and we should all try to achieve to soften our hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us of many different ways to soften our hearts. And from the greatest of them is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mentioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah regarding the one and the one who turns away from, from my remembrance then we'll resurrect, resurrect him we will give him we will give him a miserable life and we will resurrect him on the day of judgment blind and he will say, my Lord, why did you resurrect me blind when I used to see? And it will be said to him, thus our signs and verses have come to you and you forgot them. And likewise, you will be forgotten today. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, they forgot Allah and he left them and ignored them and left them alone. And likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, they forgot Allah and so they forget and forgot themselves and then they forgot Allah. And so it is upon us from the greatest means of softening our hearts is to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the advice of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when some of the companions they came to him. One of the companions he asked him, he, he asked him, said to him, the matters of the religion are many. Tell me in the religion of Islam something that I will not need to ask anyone beyond you. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, say, I believe in Allah and steadfast. Similarly, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered a similar question with a statement that means, do not cease that you make, you keep your, your tongue what from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mentioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the advice of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's no doubt that remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mentioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is from the signs of a sound heart. And it is also from the means of softening the heart. From the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the salam, giving the greeting, it is from the forms of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mentioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the meaning of the hadith, by Allah, you will not enter paradise until you believe. And you will not believe until you love one another. Should I inform you of something that if you do, you will believe. And the Messenger sallallahu or you will love one another. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, spread. Spread the salam, spread the greeting, spread the salam amongst yourselves. And so, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is from the greatest means of steadfastness, and it is from the, soft, the means of softening the heart, and it is from the means of having good and sound heart. And there are means 
And there are reasons for the hard heart. The hard heart which does not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and which does not, which is the opposite of having a sound and a good heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the example of, the, of having a hard heart. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about this, the story of the children of Israel. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them, when they were commanded to slaughter a cow, and they continued to ask, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us that after they took a part of that cow that they slaughtered, and they, they touched it or they hit a diseased person, a dead person who came back alive and he spoke, but yet their hearts became hard. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayat, and then your hearts became hard after that. And they are like stones or even harder. And some of the stones, some of the stones, they split open and rivers come out of them. And some of them have cracks and water comes out of them. And some of them, they fall down. Some of them, they fall down out of the fear of Allah. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that some of the hearts, they become hard like stones or even harder than sto stones. And so this is something what, that we should pay attention to and we should be aware of. From the rocks and from the stones and from the mountains, those that are soft and those from them are those who go down and fall down out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the mountain of Uhud. When the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went on the mountain of Uhud, along with his two companions, Abu Bakr and Umar. May Allah be pleased with them. And the mountain of Uhud started shaking because of happiness that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions were on it. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Uthbut Uhud, stand firm, stand firm, stand firm, O mountain of Uhud. For indeed, upon you is a messenger. Is, is a messenger and a Siddiq, one who believes the truth and says the truth, and two martyrs referring to Abu Bakr and Umar, uh, Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman. May Allah be pleased with all of them. And so, from the means of having a sound heart and a soft heart, a heart that accepts the truth, a heart that accepts the truth is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Staying away from sins and disobedience. Sins and disobedience causes the hearts to become hard. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, no, indeed there is a covering over their hearts because of that which they, what, that which they used to do and earn. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that when a person disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sins, that there's a black dot that is put on his heart. And if he seeks Allah's forgiveness and repents to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it is removed. And if he, if he does not, and he continues to sin, then another black dot will be put on his heart until a covering is made on his heart. So from the means of softening one's heart, is to stay away from sins and disobedience. And when one sins and disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek His forgiveness. From the means of having a good and a sound heart, is saying good things in general, from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as other things. Good speech, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, all you who believe, fear Allah, and have piety and say good things. He will rectify your affairs and forgive your sins. And the opposite is also true from the means of the hardness of the heart. is excessive speech that has no value, that has no benefit. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa warned us against speaking speech that has no benefit. As the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he said, in the meaning of the hadith, whomsoever believes in Allah in the last day, then let him say good things or remain silent. There is no doubt that excessive speech opposes and comes in opposition 
of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mentioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from the means of having, from the means of the hardness of the heart that we should beware of, is innovations. Innovating in the religion and innovations. For there is no doubt that they harden the heart and they come in opposition to the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa and the legislation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are from the worst of sins and disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One who innovates in the religion and acts upon innovations and follows the innovations that is in opposition to the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa and one will surely have enmity towards the believers and first and foremost when we will end up with enmity towards the companions of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah be pleased with them. And there is no doubt that having any sort of enmity to the companions may Allah be pleased with them and the believers is from the greatest means and reasons for, the, for heart, having a hard heart that does not accept the truth, does not listen to the truth. And from the up and the opposite of that, meaning following the Sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, steadfastness upon his way and the way of his uh, of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them, is from the means of softening the heart, without a doubt. And likewise, from the means of softening the heart, is visiting the graves and the, and remembering death and remembering the hereafter. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said in the meaning of the Hadith, visit the graves. For it reminds you of the hereafter. <laughs> From the means of having a heart, heart is having bad companions. So we must beware of who whom we befriend, who our com our companions are. Choose the companions who remind you of death, who remind you of Allah, who remind you of the hereafter. Whom, when you fall short, they remind you of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa taala and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And stay away from the friends who keep you busy with worldly affairs and with entertainment and, enjo and enjoyment of the worldly affairs, and keep you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned that the example of a good friend and a bad friend is like the example of one who carries perfume and one who, one who is a blacksmith. As is mentioned in the, no, in the long known hadith. And so, choose your companions, choose your friends, choose friends who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for it is without a doubt from the greatest means of softening the hearts. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to soften all of our hearts, to make them accept, to make our hearts accept the truth, and to allow us to follow the truth. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in.